Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to talk about results, gap years and my new slogan which is no boys allowed. So I'm going to discuss that all today and yeah, tune in. I'm going to start off by talking about results. So people got A-level results and GCSE results recently and I just felt like let me give my little inspiration <laughs> not really inspiration but I'm, obviously I can comment on both because I've done both so I thought let me just talk about my experience last year I got my A level results I finished A2 and I got my A level results and I'd done sociology photography and law I wasn't too pleased with my grades I'm not gonna lie I wasn't pleased with them at all and I felt like I can do so much better as a person so why am I sitting here twiddling my thumbs at these grades I haven't got into university I wanted to get into and clearing was a total madness last year. So, me being Monty, I decided to take a gap year, took the bold decision of taking a gap year after being so adamant through college that I was definitely gonna go to university this year. There was no two ways about it. University fees were going up to nine grand this year. Why am I not gonna go to university when I have the chance to pay three grand or whatever, how much? But I decided to, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie on any sort of level, that was one of the best decisions I've made so far in my adult life. I've had an amazing year, so I'm going to talk about like what I did my gap year. Like, but regarding my A level results, I was disappointed, and there was people around me that were so happy with their results and got into university, and I was so happy for them. But obviously, I come first. To anyone who wasn't too like pleased with their results that they got this year, I'm just going to say like life does go on. Like honestly like i think that's the main phrase for that a level results or gcse result life does go on i thought to myself ugh i'm not gonna get to uni with these results especially to do law but it is what it is i persevered on and i've got into the university i wanted to get into one of the two i got into my insurance so happy i'm going to study law and it's a great law school so to anyone that it's kind of down and out at the moment with their results or haven't got anything or whatever. Trust me, it does get better. It it does, really and truly. I'm honestly, from the bottom of my heart, that is the honest truth. I just say, it's not a bad thing to take a gap year. I remember, like, a few weeks before results last year, um, someone tweeted about, oh, it's not a bad thing to take a gap year. Me, gap year, I'm going to university this year and I don't give a... I didn't go and to be honest that phrase, that tweet is stuck in my mind like this whole year and I've experienced so many different experiences that I just never ever thought I'd get the chance to like especially this early in my life. Moving on to my gap year I've done I've worked a full-time job I worked as an estate agent in a small little company and I got that job literally by the grace of God I was on the bus coming home from work and I was like oh let me call them and then I called him he gave me an interview on the phone within a week I'd got the job so that was literally by the sheer grace of God and I worked there from January to about June and within that time I met so many different people I met amazing characters like and it's so great to like have a focus like i woke up in the morning early i went to work for nine hours nine odd hours and i'd go home have dinner whatever then go to bed at a reasonable time it was so great having a routine and i feel like that has now gave me the kind of motivation to want to go on to have a professional job but that nine to five because i was like oh i hate nine to fives i hate it, i hate it, i hate it but that was my experience through the retail and obviously now working in an office job it was a totally different different experience and to be honest i wouldn't change it for the world within that time as well i went on holidays like i met so many different people that i think that's what it was like meeting different people meeting like random people that i wouldn't get a chance to meet if i didn't do this gap year and i thought like anyone who is at a stage in their life where they don't know whether they want to go to uni or they don't know whether they want to go to college and they just want to kind of work or they just want to do something different because you don't feel like this is what you this is what you want to do because that's what everyone does i definitely say consider a gap year I was going to go away for like three months to either america or mexico to help with like in volunteering and stuff like that or camp usa but i didn't get around to doing it like I just thought that, do you know what, let me stay in London where my family's here, my friends are here, and let me just work with that. I definitely say consider all your options before you just kind of decide to throw yourself into university because nine grand is a lot of money to pay to just drop out at a later stage or do something that you're not 
totally into like your heart's not there like hence why I didn't go to university last year because I just felt like I'm not compromising on my degree I'm not compromising on the course I'm not compromising on the type of university I want to go to so I didn't and here I am a year later and I've got to the university of my choice so I definitely say don't give up like honestly and it does get better on to my new slogan, no boys allowed. I did post an Instagram picture the other day and people were taking the but that's fine. I'm gonna stand by it. I am doing a no boys allowed for three years. So technically that means a three year ban from guys. To be honest, I'm so excited. I'm honestly so excited. Since I was about like 15, I've just been, I've just been in a world of where like I've had a boyfriend or I've always been seeing someone. And I thought to myself, like, through college, I went through a bad breakup, and I just thought, oh, this has messed me up. I've realised with me, like, it's all or nothing. It's a good thing when I'm in a relationship, because I feel, like, very, like, secure and all of that sort of stuff. And I give my all, like, I give my heart, like, everything I've got, I give it to the guy. So I feel like it's so draining to try and put a full-time job, also try and, you know pull a relationship off like especially with people who are so young and people who obviously are not too sure of what they want in themselves i know what i want in myself and that's all i care about at this moment in time i don't want to mess with anyone who isn't sure of themselves because at the end of the day they're just going to get you all confused and you all twisted and that's definitely not that type of life that i'm about so three year ban from guys i don't mind dating i guess like literally going on outings and adventures i don't mind that at all but nothing serious nothing heavy nothing that will take up my time or energy just don't want to put myself in a bad position whereby it messes up the last three years of my education which is not worth it at all if the right guy does come along within that three years and hopefully he will change my mind on all of this and obviously then it stands to say I will give my all to him. That is a totally, totally different thing. That is a totally different situation in itself. So if that does happen, and I'm so lucky and so blessed to find someone like that so early on in my life, then definitely, yeah, you know when you know. So I'm still gonna stand by it. No guys for three years. No drama. I definitely say everyone should join my bandwagon because you know having a partner is not always the easiest of things. And you're trying to grow in yourself and trying to grow in your career and trying to grow just in general and be a better person because when you're in a relationship you do change to suit each other so suiting each other you grow together and you become not a totally different person but you do become this person that is very comfortable with your partner and sometimes you just need time by yourself you just need to learn to love yourself love god first then love yourself that's always my motto whoever else comes after so i'm definitely gonna stand by that love god love myself and just get on with my education for three years like guys ain't running no <laughs> i can tell you that for free they're not going anywhere they're always gonna be there so that's my little results day kind of gap year and kind of my three years my aspiration for the next three years regarding relationships thank you once again for watching and if there's anything you want me to do or talk about later on in my vlogging lifetime just let me know yeah and subscribe so thanks for watching guys i hope you have a lovely day bye